You look good with your hair up. Thank Sorry, I'm staring. Thank you. You're welcome. You do too. Thank you. <laughs> you shouldn't stare. It's weird. You should ask first. May I stare at you, please? Read her body <laughs> language. Oh. <laughs> Read my body language. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, that's a great shirt. Thank you. I just it's, got it's it. It's definitely new. Yeah. Cricket. Still got them folds down the side, boy. Mm -hmm. I always get a little embarrassed when I wear new shirts and it has like, you could tell the like so this bod. Yeah. Why is it so embarrassing? Or it's so embarrassing when like there's a tag so on your shirt. It's like, oh, you just bought that. Oh yeah. Like, they, yeah. like the medium. Just yeah, the, why oh. is it embarrassing? Be because you want like, people to think that you've had the shirt for a long time yeah. or it's like been in your closet. Because when if, if it's not like a cool shirt, it's like not the best shirt, people are just like, you just bought like that. Like people just know how excited you were to get that shirt. <laughs> yeah, like you <laughs> threw that You on. just bought it. You couldn't even check the tag yeah. first. Oh man. I remember I, I had uh, the 32 sticker. You remember? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the size. Oh, oh, a pants sticker is the worst. Was that was that when we were recording? No, this was in high school. I had it on the back and I didn't know and I went like all day. That's so embarrassing. You I would I would have dropped out of school. You know what happened to me recently? It was probably a couple weeks ago. I went shooting with uh, my chiropractor and <laughs> that's a sentence I never thought I'd <laughs> um, met up with them. We're hanging out, we're talking and the whole day goes by and I get back into the car and I was like touching my chest and there was um, a dryer sheet a hanging out the top of my <laughs> shirt and I didn't feel it the entire time. It was stuck on the inside, but like oh. the whole thing was like kind of coming out and I was like, I'm surprised you didn't even feel that. I, did that's know. like feels like it, it. It's not like a comfortable feeling. I don't know. Do you I think just, he noticed it? Oh, a hundred percent. And he didn't say anything. No, I think he would have. He would have said something if he saw it. Really? Yeah. He probably. You know, under your like when you yeah, wear shorts, yeah. those like flaps. Maybe he thought you had like a little flap thing on. Yeah, he maybe. definitely had to have seen it. He's he's probably like used to checking people's alignments. Yeah. yeah. Like he's, he's probably looking at your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he, he probably thought like you're wearing Spanx or something and I wouldn't want to call them out. Spanx, Spanx up here. Yeah. You're the right. worst are suit jackets. You know the back, how they're like they're always like sewn up, like the up. tail. Oh yeah. Like you always got to make sure that like if it's your first time wearing that jacket, you, you got to cut those. Yeah. And it's the we, worst when you are out it wearing looks, one. It, that one's kind of embarrassing. When, when yeah. We had to snip David's during the ceremony at Joe yeah, and Caitlin's. Yeah. I would his was mortified. Was like somebody ripped those off. I forgot. I, I was trying to remember where, what where that just happened. That was, yeah. that was Wait, during like, the ceremony, like while he was up there? No, no. no it was no, while we were all was, sitting down. It was when we were sitting waiting oh. for them to. Oh, so oh and, they, and why do they got to make it like the complete opposite color of it's like white on black? It's just, yeah. I think they make it like that just so you like see it. So embarrassing. And yeah, he just didn't so you see remember. it. Do you guys get like. I don't know. I, I want to call this like tag anxiety. Same thing with like boxes. You get a piece of technology. You're like, do I throw away the box? Sometimes with tags, yeah. I'm like, I know it fits. I know tags. it feels good, but like sometimes I'm like, I'm just going to set this on the counter. Yeah. And then maybe it, just because I need to still look at it for a day. No. I'm talking know. about the whole box. I or get just rid of it so fast. Uh, tags, I sometimes I'm like, I don't want to throw it away in the trash oh, can, I but I put it out. Oh. No, throw I throw trash. it out. I need it to like clear my mind. That, have, that to me is clutter. I'm like, get it out of you here. You know what's not clutter though? Like a, an, a, like a MacBook laptop box. I, that ju I me, just threw away all of mine. Yeah. I don't know. Why do we keep that? I had every single iPhone I'd ever bought the box. Every Any Apple product, I, had, I finally just threw them all away. I use mine. I use it for makeup. Oh, Okay. I put like my makeup. Well, you know, I think it's because it's a good box. And yes. also, we're also paying for that box. Yeah. Do you think you're just paying for the laptop? No, baby. You're paying for that whole yep. box. That box probably costs alone like 45, 50 bucks. Yeah. To put it in. So, and I, I get maybe it could be, that. maybe I'll sell this down the road and it's nice to have the package that it comes in. Right. There's all of that, but I've just learned to surrender to that. Surrender, surrender. Mm. How about you roll this intro? Let's do it. <laughs> do it baby. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> baby. It's, it's coffee time, baby. baby. Let's go. Oh, wow, like a rock star. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are still in the set. Quarters. Oh yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I thought there was Stop. like uh, enough. Okay, enough. but no. Let's 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 tell them why we're still in the set. So nobody's surprised. Uh, first of all, <laughs> happy, not one person is surprised. <laughs> happy season five, everybody. Yes, happy oh. season five. Woo! Um, <laughs> so. You know, our our plan was to our plan was to move from the set into uh into the and move it to the room at my new house, um, and 
in order to make that work, because we do have to move all the camera and the lights and everything, we have to do it in like a week's time because we'd have to finish recording the episode and then we have a week to move everything. Oh. Because of so much shit that's happening in the next like two weeks, we have your wedding, mm -hmm. I have my brother's wedding, I have to go uh, in two days. We just, there's just so much happening and we all wanna just be able to be in the new set together Yeah, for that first episode and that's like the main, main we have thing, to, right? We have to pre-record like, because you're going to be leaving as well. Mm -hmm. And instead of taking a break, we didn't want to like miss a week and have no episode. It was either, like, it was either not take a break or take a two week break. Yeah. That was and we definitely options. didn't want to take a two week. There's break. a lot to juggle. Yeah, exactly. There's a so, lot, there's a, there's to a lot going on, but we, we're, we're still doing it. I moved into the new house. We have the room. It's ready. It's ready to be moved in. We just yeah. have to, we just, just want to be able it. to record in here a couple more episodes. And we also didn't want to like half ass it and be like, not the full set. You know what I mean? Yeah. We like just we could to make have it look good. tried to make it work, but it would have just been, it, this is better. Yeah. You got to yeah. do some like also trial runs and trial shoots yeah. and all of that. And you got to figure exactly. it out. But, so, but yeah, coming. that's what we're doing. It's coming. Just give us a couple weeks. Your new house looks great, by the way. Thank it's you. Really nice. Thank Gorgeous. you. Gorgeous. It's it's, there's a lot of house. It's a lot of house. It, 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 like, as soon as I started, like after we, we moved in, I was looking at all the rooms like, damn, this is really empty. Yeah. And um, you're going to have to buy so much furniture. Um, I'm not, I'm going to try to get, um, I'm, I don't want to buy a ton of furniture. Yeah, it's really expensive. I'm going to try to find like furniture that I like and then reach out to the brain and see if we can like do a collaboration type thing. And okay. you can also so, get some gently used furniture in areas where you know you're not going to be sitting at that, that Yeah, much. exactly. Like That's the what upstairs areas, like, you can get really cheap shit yeah, for like- Absolutely, Facebook absolutely. Market. And yeah. like, we're gonna do a little bit of both too, because there's so much stuff to get on uh, Facebook Marketplace mm -hmm. and offer up, but they have really good stuff there too. I just showed him how to use it the other day. Oh Facebook my God. Marketplace? Facebook he Marketplace like, is insane. He the best. is freaking out because like- <laughs> He didn't know you can negotiate so much. Yeah. He didn't know you could like, like message them so and get fun. it that day. He's like, what do you mean they just responded? Like the I can talk to them right now and I can go get it. And yeah. I said, Zane, you can literally like keep it to your neighborhood and just run across the street and pick something up. That's and the he best. That. Yeah. That's the move is getting that little dial centered up <laughs> right around your block where you know you're not going anywhere. You're just a neighbor who just taken something right off their hands. I want to do that. Easy. We should set it to like half a mile and just whatever's for sale. Don't don't even yeah. search for anything. Just everything within just that because half of the convenience. What's just the, because how easy. Like, yeah, let me see what I can go pick gone. up today. Oh, for a to piece of furniture. Oh, pretty we, far, like in an hour far. and a half. Yeah, well, yeah. Halloween yeah. villages. I went all the way down to San Diego. Woo! Well, like, but, I mean, that's a fun trip. Yeah, San Diego is fun. And then for a white VHS TV, I went like. <sighs> I don't know, like an hour and a half away. Yeah, yeah, I think we did an hour, maybe a little over an hour. The worst when I did that really long one, got there and the couch was, in, or the chair was not what it looked like. Oh. And I had to say no. Oh. And I was like, I just wasted that whole drive. I wasted that guy's time to go see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I felt so bad. Oh, wait, wait, he had to like meet up with you? No, too? no, no, I went to his house, but like, it's still- Oh, he shouldn't feel bad then. I mean, he didn't have to do any movie. Yeah. You're the one who had to drive Always away. though ask for measurements. Some, yeah. And also post the measurements. Why don't people do that? Like it's, cause I'm always having to go, what's the measurements of this? Ever yeah. thought about that? Cause like- I always you need put a, the dimensions and then I take a picture of the ruler against it. Uh, at different angles so that they know. Right, just, just but, multiple for, pictures of you comparing it to that. Like sitting at the side. table, standing at the table. I'm five foot two for reference. <laughs> yeah, this right. Is standing next, this is me sitting in it. They should, with the picture, just show a video. Just like, you, you should can. be able to do like a carousel or yeah. yeah a lot of people are just really lazy that. with the posting. Yeah. I get negotiation anxiety, even though they agree to my yeah. deal. No, I'm I so embarrassed bad. that now I have to see this person. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got it a hundred dollars off. Aren't you oh, lucky? They try to you're you're, you're trip pulling you. up in like an $80,000 car. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Like what car is it? Blue Defender. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dad's. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter how much money. I, it, everybody deserve, has the right to negotiate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fine. Wait, what were you just about saying with her? Well, we, the, the picture frames, the lady was like, mm, you're getting a really good deal. Oh, these yeah. were, oh, these yeah. were so much, you know, it's, it's a really good price you're getting it at. Oh, Tough titties, God. Nancy. Tough titties. Yeah. yeah, come on. Like, was it's like a piece of technology? They're like, let's see it run. Like, yeah. oh, cause yeah. you're like, like I was selling a laptop on Facebook marketplace and the guy's like, let's see it run. And I'm like, okay, come up into my home and we plug it up and boot it up and like, I, I thought, oh, he, get it I thought he wanted to see a video of like- No, he wanted to like sit there and like work on it for oh, a little bit. And I was like, <laughs> did, okay. you see the, did you see the video of someone uh, selling their pan 
and then the person's asking, hey, can you like yes. turn it on for me? Hey, can you like throw a slab of can butter you, on there? I want to see it melt. Can you cook an egg? And he what? just kept on going, That's guys, really like, funny. come on, dude. Are you buying the pan or not? Not until you put on a, a slab of meat. I want to see how it cooks. Yeah. And then he really never funny. got the he never got the pan. Now wash it. But he made a how whole does it made wash it. Up? Of- <laughs> Do you accept cash or Venmo? Like when you're selling well, stuff. Either one. Okay. What's your yeah. Venmo? Oh, <laughs> People, um, people like cash though. Yeah. It's also like not that traceable. Yeah. And, I but just, if I do Venmo, I always put brunch or. Uh, to or the what? person? Uh, yeah. Oh. Like my, my, my nail lady, she goes, please put something. I'm like lunch. Thank you. Oh. Oh yeah. I, when I bought, I bought like a suit for uh, Joe's wedding and he told me I had to put down like hookah or something. Just so because so he doesn't get charged. Yeah. yeah. Or they don't. It's so, uh, cause they're now taxing on income that you make through Venmo. Venmo? Oh. So they're having, I can't believe it's just as easy as just changing what you're saying it's for. On they're going to, they're going to, they're, they're going to catch it though. It. Yeah, they're going to catch they're gonna it. They're going to change the system. Yeah. They think they're hacking it. They're going to be like, prove it. Well, I think it might work now, but in like a year or two, it's just, yeah. they're going to be able to like know exactly where that money's mm. going. Prove it. Post a picture of your lunch. Yeah. Let me see the bro- <laughs> <laughs> Let me My see favorite it. videos are when, uh, when people order DoorDash or when, uh, when a DoorDash person, um, delivers food and then they leave and then the person says they didn't receive it, but they obviously dropped to them and they go uh, back and uh, meet them right after they get there and, and they go, hey, you just put down that you never received your order, but I, I gave it to you in person. Oh, uh, well, what and happened? They're like, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then just that whole interaction, like the- I haven't seen that. The girl, I've never seen There was a girl that. working at like a CVS and she did it to a DoorDash driver and she while she was working at CVS and she would not leave the CVS wow. until- she got a video of her saying that she received her order and she would not say it. Ooh. But those are my favorite videos. Mm. I love them. The most awkward thing is when your DoorDash shows up and you like meet them at the gate and they didn't get a chance to take their picture yet of the <laughs> drop off. So they're like, wait. Oh, yeah. oh. And then you're like holding it. You're, you're like, you're in it. I go. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just take a picture. I'm like this. <laughs> There's nothing like when that food arrives. Oh my gosh. Uh, I turn bad. into a goblin. No, I'm like, a, I'm just oh, like, I'm a monster. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm Matt, mumbling to myself. <laughs> Wait, Matt, I run back <laughs> to yeah. the kitchen. Like, I pick it up and I run. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm I like, what this? is coming out <laughs> of me? Who is this? I do that. I run every time. And he goes, I heard your feet. Like, you'll hear it on the pavement. Like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> run back and I'm like what a time to be alive I love that we're like we're, we get to be alive where we could like <laughs> order whatever food in any place around the, oh who is still I mean you tell the DoorDash people <laughs> leave it at the door I'm gonna I'll pick it up yeah I but who is like no I want to see you like are people still doing that where well, they're yeah, not a, they're not leaving at doorstep kind of people are it, there people out there who half, like 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 to mine see it? it says meet me at my door but I didn't put that purposely I just I like it's the default sounds a little sk- meet me yeah, at my like, yeah. well I We're think meeting. a lot of people come inside a lot of people because <laughs> people will drop it off and then if it's gone it's like it's really no one's like whose fault is it kind of up for grabs exactly the, so yeah, yeah. if you meet them at the door there's no room for like I, um, I have on mine like most of the time they don't do it but I have like call when here. And like, I'll go. That's good. But also I'm like so eager to get my food. I'm watching the car. Oh yeah, oh, yeah me car. too. I'm, so I'm, I'm like con- sitting there. I'm like, all right, it's pulling up. All right, I'm just going to go outside. Yeah. My notifications are on. With those Most guys. of the time I beat them to it and I just walk up directly to their car. I do the same do thing. They, is there a rule where they can't give it to you from the window? They always have to get out yes, of the car. They go, no, I, no, 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 no. They always get out. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. I think there is, there must be like an etiquette rule where like you cannot. They never pass it through. He because always gets like, out. Sometimes I'm like, this poor person has to park. Yeah. Right. There's nowhere yeah. to park. I feel bad for like, when they got to go into apartments and then they're looking around. Oh, like, oh, the, oh yeah. just Terrible. meet them downstairs. Don't no, yeah. do not make them go yeah. all the way up to read. Then they're like, I call don't buzz in the box. And, and it's a like, confusing apartment complex where it's like, is the second floor the first or the f- yeah. number, the oh, floor meet, number? Meet them, outside, meet them halfway. Yeah. I don't know. I, I could be the only one, but I would love it. I always said I want to do like DoorDash, Postmates or Instacart, like run people's errands. And I always think about going to an apartment and just Figuring it Finding out. Finding your way. Yeah, mm-hmm. it feels like I'm in like this like murder mystery. You like, like a hunt. Yeah, I love hunting. Murder yeah, mystery. A bit of an inves- side quest. Investigation. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of picking up food, I have a quick little story. Story time. <laughs> well, let's hear it. <laughs> get get ready with me as I Is deliver food. <laughs> uh, okay, so I placed a bagel order the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> as one does. And 
the bagel shop is right across the street from our house. But I also had to run errands, so I took my car and I was like, let me just swing by, grab my food and continue my day. Mm -hmm. So I went, I pulled up now right in front of the bagel shop. There's no parking lot. So it's like you pull up to the curb and half my car was in the red, but I do this all the time. I know I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You get a ticket for parking on the red curb. Red is kind of like but if valet. You're, but if you're like quick, if you're getting out, grabbing something and then going. Emergency blinkers, emergency, emergency blinkers. Yeah, I always put the hazards on. I'll allow it. Fire hydrant in the way though. No, is it the absolutely. true fire line? Okay. No, 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 no. Right. no fi I, I, never, I never park in front of a higher fire hydrant ever. Yeah. Ever. P Postmates drivers do that all the time. They all, like, yeah. just to pick up food. Here's two your seconds. Yeah. Because yeah. parking yeah. is like impossible. Yes. Yeah. yeah, especially out here. So. I was in the red, we do it all the time. I get out, I tell them my name, I grab my food, that's may maybe 45 seconds, I come out and somebody's writing me a ticket. <gasps> I said, there's oh. no way. Oh, they're, they're, they're there's waiting, There's no yeah. way, they're, and I'm, I, I don't know about this conspiracy, but it was the end of the month. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Man. They, they and have I, a quota. And I'm in my head, I'm like, do I fight it? I'm wrong. Like that, that's a rule. Like, don't break the <laughs> you rules. You stick your bag in like your belly. Like, uh, <laughs> please, I need. I, I, I'm <laughs> pregnant. I just, I'm I was having a craving. It's like, so, it's like something, it's like almost like when people, um, like red, you know, like when you're turning your right on an intersection at a red light, you're supposed yeah. to top and then stop and then yeah, turn. Yeah, but yeah. A lot of people just like kind of go slow and then turn. Yeah. yeah. If a cop sees it, he's probably not going to, Give you too hard of a time, but the end of the month, if yeah. he has to reach a certain They'll quota, it. yeah. mm. it's illegal. Like it's it, it says it in the rule book that you cannot do that. Yeah. They will give you a ticket. It's the same thing. And this guy was looking because forty five seconds in and out. He I probably said, was he was probably Mariah, sitting somewhere grab. nearby. Saw it. Yes, like, I'm sure he waits there because it's a hot spot. People going to pick up their stuff. That yeah, that's sitting there true. waiting and he just goes, all right, boom, pull up. And you know who was sitting there like, oh god, I need five more by the end of the day. I get off in two hours. I got to get this. I come out and I'm like, excuse me, like I'm just leaving. I just pulled up Ooh. and I, I said, of course I'm, ugh, I can't control myself. Ooh. I start tearing up. And you're blacked out, I'm like, dude. Think, I was like, think about what just happened. <laughs> you said I this said, to them. Yeah. And you go, think Bro, about. But, but, did you do an Italian accent? I, no, with with confrontation, I cry. So I just started tearing up. <laughs> I don't know why I said this, but I think it saved me. And I said, I live right across the street. Like, please, I just want to get home and like grab my food, whatever. And he goes, ID. And I was like, he goes, get out of the street. Give me your ID. And I was like, does my ID have this current address? I was like, oh my gosh. Uh -uh. And I gave it to him and I, and I looked at it. And I was like, thank God. It literally says the street over. I don't think that's like, they don't really Is look at that. Is that any of his business? Like your ID? I don't, or, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think sure he was just trying to check the story. He's yeah. Probably, yeah. But be, like, yeah. I don't know. I'm sure people lie all the I time. I don't know if she's he like, was also a local and it was just like a local, like, yeah. like, hey, I don't know if it helped me. So you live I mean, in Toluca Lake? I show him my ID and he like gives it back to me and he goes, okay, Mariah, well, look what you just did. And he showed me his phone, $270. What? $270? ticket. For parking on a for red light over red. here. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And I was like, he was kind of being a hard ass and kept showing me like, look what you did. Look what you did. And I was like, ah, uh, I was he, like- He puts your face on the- Wait, look, look what you did. He showing you a picture of the ticket? The ticket, yeah. yeah. And Weird. it was on his phone. So, Cause I thought when they used to like write the ticket, as soon as it hits the paper, I thought that was it. They can't take it back. Uh, that's what I, yeah. But on the phone, he was filling it out. So he could have just backspaced. You should just grab. So I think it was like, I think it was fine. Well, it was fine because he let me go. He like shook my hand, introduced himself maybe he's a fan yeah now he no, knows he our like, address he was like 50. <laughs> um so i got away with it and oh. i was like thank you jesus thank you so much criminal so the first thing in my head was like i have to help the next person that i come across oh okay <laughs> so do you always look out for someone parking there or so oh <laughs> i go to dance two hours later I pull up to an intersection. I stop. I'm going to make a right-hand turn. I stop. I'm waiting for cars. I'm looking. A car pulls up behind me, sits and stops. We're both stopped. I'm looking. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. All of a sudden, I get hit behind me. And I was like, and I looked up. I was like, this, he was fully stopped. Why did he just hit me? I wasn't inching up or anything. I just, I was stopped. And he hit me. And I looked up and I was like, there's no way. There's no way. And then immediately in my head, I'm like, I think I'm fine because I have a tire on the back. And Cause it didn't feel like the car got hit. It felt like a, bu like a, a bump, rubber yeah, bumper. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, my tire, I'm good. So I'm calm, cool and collected. I make the right hand turn. I pull up and I said, this kid better like pull over with me. So I get ready to like take a picture of his plate. And 
it looked like he was hesitant. He was sitting there like this. And then he made the right hand turn, pulled up behind me. He gets out of the car and I immediately look at my car and it's nothing. Like yeah. it was, he, it's not like he flew into me. We were both stopped and he bumped, bumped me. Yeah. And I, I said, I think it was one of those situations where like you're at an intersection and you have like an arrow and you have to wait for the arrow, but the other light turns green and you kind of like hesitate to go. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it was one of those. I feel like he just saw the other <clears throat> light turn and he just went. Yeah. And he was like this young kid and he was like, same reaction I had to the guy with the ticket. He was like, I'm so sorry. Like, you have no idea. I was like, it's fine. I was like, this is why I got that car. Like for accidents like this, like all, I was trying to like make him like feel okay. And I was like, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it. Like, we don't have to like do any of this. And he was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, don't worry. I was like, this is my person. Like I got let go. I got to let this person yeah. go. I wouldn't know what to do in that situation. Nothing happened, right. but, but <laughs> I am my mother's daughter because my closing line was, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I said, thank you so much. Like, have Cause you feel day. like you had this like curse on or you had something over you. And I you don't just know. Let it I just said, thank you. And it reminded me, I told him, it reminded me well, the one time pe people drove into our front yard when it was snowing and my mom like brought them gift cards, hot chocolate. <laughs> she had them come inside to warm up. I'm like, mom, they hit the house. <laughs> so in that moment, I'm like, oh, I'm my mother's daughter. Bruh, I'm surprised that you didn't bring this kid to the side and was like, before you go, I gotta tell you what happened today. So today I was in front of the red Zane, and then I Zane, got stopped by a cop and he let me go. You did so. not Zane, think about I it. I was 30 seconds away from being like, if this conversation goes on, I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> I'm gonna tell he him. He would've been like, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I think he would have loved that. I would have loved that if that like happened to me, if I hit somebody accidentally and that, because I that would have made me want to pay it forward. Oh. Uh. When I said thank you, he looked at me and he was like, thank you. And I was like, you're right. You're right. Give me your light. <laughs> give me <laughs> your ID information. ID give, now. give me your information. Actually, what's, ID, your, what's, your, address? what's your insurance? Yeah, true. It was a, it was a nice you're car. Like, oh no, it's fine. You look at his car, it's a Ferrari. Oh, oh. my bag. Oh. What is that a it's real thing? <laughs> what people, when people like people do that? Oh, oh yeah. Why, why with a nicer car do you actually get paid more? There's I, just the, the odds are higher. The that odds person are higher. won't because it, those, with, those people are just like fine. They'll give, settle it. They yeah, don't want without insurance because be Ferrari's not gonna want it to go to his insurance, so he'll just pay whatever out of pocket just to avoid it. It's so crazy that girlhood that I had that fender bender with, where she went took it to a mechanic and she and it was just. There was hardly any damage to her car. It was going to be like three, four thousand dollars, and I'm like, let's go through insurance. <laughs> and I filed the claim. She's not once like really? filed it back. Yeah, at all. Which I just think it's just like funny. Like, yeah, I say you something. wanted to like not get the insurance involved, but then I was like, no, let's do insurance. And then she's like, never mind. Yeah. I saw something. One of those Rivians that we were talking about yeah. in the last episode got like a dent on the back, like um, like the rear quarter panel by the uh, like the tailgate. Yeah. It was a good sized dent, but it wasn't anything crazy. And the insurance wanted forty one thousand dollars to fix it. What? How much is the car worth? I think they're like a hundred grand for the truck. Um, oh. But apparently, it's a very difficult car to work on because you got to take the entire thing apart to oh. fix one thing. Because oh. the the rear quarter panel is is like one sheet of metal that wraps into the door that wraps up over the roof, and it's it's not separated. You know yeah. how normally like you could pull a fender up, you could pull like. Yeah. A different car like that. Just make it make it easier. Uh, yeah, you're already being electric. Let's so be they, ahead of the curve and make it easier to repair. <laughs> they were trying to total the car out because of a, a dent. It was insane. Wow. Always, so don't get a Rivian then, because if you get into one little accident, you have to replace the whole car. Crazy. That's insane. I've always wanted to like, you know that like hot water hack with yes. like a dent? I've always wanted just to do that. Oh, with like yeah. the plunge, plunger? Oh yeah, yeah, you pour the hot water yeah. and you just get under there. Uh -huh. but then, I saw oh. somebody put, there was a dent in their bumper and they put a football yep. in it and inflated the football and it pumped it out. Whoa! <laughs> it, it, yeah. Expands it from inside and it'll pop it back out. <laughs> Whoa! People are so creative. You can, you, can, you can actually use the plunger. You put a plunger on it and you- Yeah. Yeah. Pop it out like that. It gets rid of the dent, but it'll, it won't get rid of that. Memory? <laughs> <laughs> no, just like that, that scab. That it depends. That's, if, to if me, it that's like more. If it scab. didn't take the paint off. A scab, yeah. a scab. The scab, scab. the cost scab. I love that. <laughs> the scab. That's actually really funny. Scab. I just wish painting cars was easier. Oh. Yeah. Like it wasn't Why can't such everybody an- everybody do it? Like yeah. I wish it was like a video game. Just like boop, boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> like change it done, for the day. change the color. It, you, and you know what? It will get there. Hopefully. It will get like, I can see it. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but it does. It seems easier than 
Yeah. And then we think. Yeah. It's got to be some sort of, I guess it would have to be like some sort of like thin wrap that. You just go into light. like a car wash place, but they just put this wrap all around it and then like heat it up and then they like cut out all your windows. But no, like even easier than that. It's just something about like, I feel like you could just, it's, it's like a, it's a, you know, like those billboards. Yeah. Not the really little billboards, but like the. The billboards were like it changes, like the the uh -huh. um the oh, like LED, like tiny little LED it's lights. It's tiny, uh, tiny. Yeah. I mean, it's so you can just ex like set it. It's expensive, but before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Shopify. When Heath and I started podcasting, an online store was like the furthest thing from our mind, and now we get to sell Kremota coffee right on Shopify, and it's so easy, all because we use it. If you don't know, Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launcher online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the, did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. And whether you're selling scented soap or the best coffee in the world, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. And Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. And sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI-powered all-star. I remember before Heath and I started Komodo, we were so nervous and scared of like how to run this because we we thought we had to do everything manually. Mm -hmm. Like how we're gonna get all these shipped out? Do we have to write everything down? Like how we're gonna be able to track all these orders and Shopify just made it super easy. They have everything on the dashboard and it's great for people that like literally have never sold anything ever in their life. And Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the US and Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's and Brooklinen and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Plus Shopify's award-winning help is there to support your success every step of the way because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. So if you're ready to try out Shopify and start selling, you can sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash unfiltered and that's all lowercase. Again, you're gonna go to shopify.com slash unfiltered now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Again, one more time so you don't forget it, shopify.com slash unfiltered thank you shopify for <clears throat> thank you shopify for sponsoring today's episode we love you and thank you for getting us Kremota to the top did you see the madison sphere garden u2 had its concert oh my god or madison square garden sphere i just think no, you should have called wait, it madison I, thought it in, sphere I thought that was in garden. vegas that's what it's called it's msg sphere i thought it was in vegas wait madison square garden owns that owns the sphere oh but they should have called no, it i thought it was just the sphere no it's msg oh my sphere. gosh i didn't know madison square garden so but wow. did you, this is yes. the U2 had its concert, which was like the first concert. The Matt, I had to watch three separate videos. Cause I was like, why is everybody posting this concert? I didn't know they were in the globe Oh, because the video I kept seeing was them in the desert. And I was like, where is, I was like, is this? Oh, you thought it was like outside. Yes, I thought it was real. Yeah, damn. It Honestly, like the, the just the video, it looks so overwhelming. Whoa, it's huge. See, if you could find yeah, it. Yeah, it like, it's the per scary. The performance is an afterthought. Like it's all, yeah. Yeah. it's a spectacle. When they, and then they have that like illusion where it looks like the ceiling gets lower. Yeah. Like that messes with my what, brain. What, like uh, this, whoa. that is, wild oh my gosh yeah that's it looks like trippy. it's collapsing that's cool see if you could find a, a picture or video of like them like, like my a different one like my mom has vertigo she would not be able to be in there wait that was really weird the way they stretched the letters bigger to make it look like it's yeah, yeah. uh but like the sphere desert or like outside or outside. so oh. what was what was the concert you too uh, you too Oh, oh, of course. The, How the, do they the get music this? that's on all over your oh uh, everyone's God. iPhone. How? Yeah, this is the one I saw, and I was like, "Wow, where is this? This, what a, is, what a this venue. is so cool." Yeah, that looks amazing. It, I'm so curious. Is is it hard on your eyes? Like, I I'm. I feel like it I doesn't seem eyes. like when well, I'm, the outside of the sphere is all LEDs, but that can't all be LEDs. Is that like an IMAX thing? Is it a projection? I'm curious about what the technology is and how hard that would be on my eyes. Oh man. You know, I saw one comment of somebody saying this, like the phones just never went away. The entire concert, yeah. that kind of sucks. I feel like once it gets old enough, people I don't will. know, man, that's pretty crazy. I don't think phones will ever go away for that. That's like a long time. That is really cool. But that's so sick though. Like, Wow. I heard though yeah, that there's awesome. uh, there are like the better, the higher up is the better seat to have, not being closer to the performance. There's also ones that are like underneath where these people are are seated and you can't see the 
Uh, the wall. So I'm right. like, what the fuck is the it's point like, of those seats? It's like sitting front row at a movie theater. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just like, right. Why do front row seats exist if it's an awful view? Yeah. Yeah. Like that's a, it's always like a weird thing that those exist. Yeah. Cause imagine like Coldplay, that, like do imagine your favorite artist just playing there. Oh my God. And you get to see like there's, it goes from like the, scenes like that to like a close up of like the band playing and they're just like huge. Tame Impala would be sick there. But oh. then but then they have to plan the entire light show for yeah, all yeah. of that. And it's- What is that video file? Like, is it, yeah. is it an MB4? Just, is not, it no, like, it's just like a USB, just- Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Wow. That, yeah, that's pretty Should magical. Should we have our live tour there? Yeah, right. Live show? <laughs> wow, imagine like a church service there. That would be insane. I wonder how the sound is. They would have Jesus coming down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <In> the- <laughs> Angels just shooting across. People Kanye's, be, wow. gonna have a, Kanye's gonna have a, tr- a, a Sunday uh, service 100%. in there. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think it would gorgeous. be so cool, but after a while, I'd be like, okay, <laughs> I want to go. I think it depends on it's, what they're playing. It's kind of too much to take in. There was in. one that I saw where the the, the screen was all uh, audience, so it made you feel like it was a giant circle, oh, oh, that's cool. oh like a coliseum, a, co- a giant coliseum. Those that was really cool. People must be having so much fun yeah. coming up with oh, different yeah. ideas. You know, there's a team of like ten that come up with yeah. like. Every single one. It's pretty awesome. It is sick. Re- it is crazy that people are shooting this on their iPhone. Like, look how clear. Mm-hmm. If you if you try to take a picture or video of a of a like a bright billboard, That's you true. can't get it. Yeah. So Imagine how many of- how how like you know how phones always ruin the quality of like yeah. especially like LED screen. They probably went did so many back and forth to make sure the iPhone qual the iPhone could like capture it perfectly. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Because if you try to like shoot light, it'll just be blown out. You, what's amazing. on the what's on the roof of the like cathedral in um the Sistine Chapel or oh like that. Michelangelo's the Sistine Chapel yeah, oh, all yeah. on the top imagine wow. though you got that place for an hour and you could put up whatever video you yeah, wanted like bra- just bra- you like <laughs> bra- <laughs> yeah <laughs> Someone hacks it, just a giant, just uh, yeah <laughs> Zane it's like going down like a portal Zane you're like. <laughs> <laughs> it like zooms in and it turns into like. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, now that's a hack I can get behind. I like the little emoji that they have. Yeah, that's oh, cute. Yeah. That, like, the outside still scares me. Still yeah. scares me. Yeah, it's a lot. Pretty cool. We have to go. Mm-hmm. We have to see it. I'm well, down. I I wonder, like, dude, they're gonna be so picky on who I feel like they're gonna have perform there. Yeah, like it has to be just somebody that can. Because yeah. how many seats is that? It looks really big. It's a it's a lot. Well, as big as a, like a like SoFi? No, because it's not like in an arena. It's probably like Hollywood Bowl. Maybe like half a SoFi. I don't. I'm so I sure. feel like anybody like you can get any artist to pretty much like as if they could sell the tickets, then they can perform there. I feel like the artist has to pay a lot of money to create that show though, with the lighting and, you know what I mean? Like, it, uh, artists would have to. You'd, you would do need it. a residency there because they would have like you would need to come up with like something to for build the year. A set for yeah. that would be very. You couldn't just do it one night. Very intense. Imagine like before you perform, they're like, all right, you can pick any of these catalogs. We can play like a sky the whole time. <laughs> we can play yeah. a little, maybe uh-huh. little birds flying around. Ooh, getting married in there, having any <laughs> venue you want. That would be kind it's of It's gonna be, be me. Cool. That would be so cool. I feel cool. bad for people coming to do it in like the next year because everything's gonna have been done on it. Yeah. Oh, you know what those, I mean? All those lights are not working. You're gonna have like, like little pixels. Like, like, like hot oh. pixels. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's not it. No. I How was your hike? Unbelievable. Better than the last one? Does it get better every time or? I enjoyed it- this one more than the previous ones. Okay, because you uh, like this route or just the weather was nicer? Well, it was freezing. Um, oh yeah, by the way, guys, he, he didn't just go on a hike. He did like a five, six day like. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How was your hike? <laughs> How was your hike at Runyon today? <laughs> Explain um, what you did. Yeah, so it was, uh, ended up being four days. Um, it was a backpacking trip. We ended up doing, I believe it was close to like 30 miles. Uh, but yeah, so we started in like Tuolumne Meadows in Yosemite, like that area. Very familiar. <laughs> oh, you know about Tuolumne? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Um, so nice yeah, the, the trail that we did was a different one, obviously. And yeah, it was just, it was stunning. Um, now the trail, are you guys having a paper map or use it a trail app? Is the we signal all, out there? Compass? Like I have a I have a Garmin InReach, which is like a little mini satellite phone. Okay. 
Uh, so w- when I don't have service, I could still text. So you call, are you texting oh. Mariah from the satellite phone? Yeah. Sick. Oh, I didn't. He. I thought you were keeping this shit all traditional. Like well, no, it, it no wasn't service. Like, it wasn't like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Like it was just like, hey, I just got to my campsite. We're setting up. No uh, bears. <laughs> yeah, I'm alive. Got it. <laughs> okay. Um, it got down to like the high teens for weather. And when we were waking up, there was frost and like snow on the inside Ooh. of my tent because it was so cold and like the humidity of like our bodies. I would have called it quits. There's so everything no way. was like wet inside, freezing cold. Uh, but the views yeah. were unbelievable. What time are you going to bed? Like, is it pretty we were, going we to bed early? It, we were hitting it pretty early because we you have to like wake up in the morning. You got to pack down everything. Are you allowed to make a fire? At a certain elevation. So anything over 9,600 feet, we weren't allowed to have a fire. Okay. Uh, our first two nights, we were allowed to have fire. A lot harder to start than you think. Right. What did you have flint or how do you even can't you bring e- a lighter? Even with a lighter, I just can't believe you do Survivor and like not try to win a million dollars. Like you like you just do it for fun. Did yeah, you, yeah, you did it for free. Did you bring like a uh, laundry lint? Can't you? Isn't that really flammable? So yeah, you can you can like bring certain things, but all we had was a lighter. We didn't bring like you can bring uh cotton swabs with petroleum jelly on it those okay. are great you can put those in a bag um but we didn't have anything like that <laughs> i just like it's crazy it's crazy uh, we ended up pulling uh sap off of trees that's flammable wow. and like roll it into like a ball and then we like stacked it in a row on logs and we lit that and then we put little tiny twigs around it oh yeah um there was no like moss or anything that would like catch and like hold it was all just like dead pine needle so it was very difficult um but we ended up getting it hell yeah uh and then yeah just the, the hike looked like you were in the video game halo the entire time oh. that's yeah that's what it felt like and then the lake that we got to i felt like i was in teletubby land <laughs> teletubby land it oh was, yeah yeah time for telly time it was like bye-bye. just like the meadow with like the reds in it oh with yeah the water it was and then like the, the the creek going up to it was winding like this. It was it was insane. I like I I, I can't believe this is a real spot. And then there's snow on the mountain next to us. Do, um, Isn't it crazy that we're just like we we have that all around? It's just we just have buildings on it now, and it's just we got trees cut out. And did, did you run into other people on the trail? Yeah. So we ran into uh, one of the nights. These people came and kind of camped by us. And uh, one of our friends got to talking to one of the dudes and they were in the middle of doing the PCT. Oh, the Pacific Coast Trail. Yes. Right? Is that it? Yeah. So we were talking to him like, yeah, we got to do seven miles tomorrow to get to our next spot. (sighs) What are you guys doing? He's like, oh, we're in the middle of the PCT. So we got to go. We're actually doing 21 miles tomorrow and we're going to Mammoth. 21 miles? Yes. So they're hiking right now from Canada down to Mexico. Oh my goodness. What? Yeah. People it do runs that. from Canada to Mexico. It takes like are they, how old are they? Six months. I think the guy was probably like maybe 30. Retired? Yeah, don't they have a job? Yeah. So Sometimes I don't, people take a year off their life just to do it. I don't Whoa. know if it's like rich people doing it or people that aren't well off with money and they just like maybe lost their job. They're like, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna cancel my lease and because just go it's, just, it's like that nature. one Reese Witherspoon movie where she like yes. does it. Yeah. I think, That's a I think great she did the PCT movie. In there. Uh, well, I think it is the PCT or it's the Appalachian Trail. She might've done that one. That one. Amazing think, movie. Yeah, great movie. What's it called? It's called Alone, uh, Wild. Yes, wild. it's wild. wild. That's it. Oh my God. Like I, like I would hate, like any type of movie like that, I would hate, but like they just did such a good job with yeah, it. Yeah, she nailed it. You know, there's yeah. a funny story about that. I think you would get a kick out of it. So in this scene, like her her shoes are like bothering her. She's getting blisters and she throws the shoes off a cliff uh-huh. and somebody went on the trail and was no like, this way. is where she threw the shoes off. Get and they out. went like really Shut far away. down on the cliff and they found the shoes what? that she threw out of here. years later. How much is that worth? I, I think they like, I don't know. I think they like reconnected back with like the production crew and like Reese Witherspoon oh loved it. It was like a whole story about the shoes from that movie. That's amazing. Oh, Matt, that would have been you out there. I know, I right? I'm, I'm looking for the shoes, but that's I think amazing. it was someone who like really that's, had to go down and like search really cool. for it. That's but really yeah. Cool. Um, um, what was like the worst thing that happened out there? It's probably just back pain. Oh, his underwear's froze. Oh yeah, my underwear's froze. Cause we, we did, um, I don't know why we did it, but we did a cold plunge every day oh you so you did a cold plunge when it was already freezing outside <laughs> yeah why i don't know 
I'm so, like, how can you even get your, like, you're, you're shivering already, right? It's so yeah. cold. How are you just like, I want to get in this. It's not a hot tub. It's like, it's a, it's like complete opposite then, of what you and want. And they all came back sick and they were like, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, I think it was just, you're already out there and you're like uncomfortable. You're miserable. You're in pain. Also, I knew it would be good for my bones and my joints and everything that was hurting. So yeah. I was like, let me just do it. I did it, got out. And then I hung my underwear up. And uh, I woke up the next morning and they were literally stiff. I went to pull it off and it just went like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the everything was amazing. It was just really pretty. Um, any uh, wildlife? You see, any, you see any beasts? So I brought my my thermals okay. and my night vision. Ooh, Game changer out there. I don't wow. know if I would what do did you, that. What did you see? A couple mice. <laughs> so, I then, saw a girl in the middle of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, <laughs> someone just like, <laughs> like what? Uh, no, I uh, I spotted a deer Ooh, across okay. the water. It's pretty cool. That's and like stage one. We got any like stage fours in there? Nothing crazy. Oh, did planes fly out? Do planes fly yeah. over it? Okay. Um, the stars were insane. We could see the Milky Way. Wow. It was unbelievable. Did you see the moon? Yeah, it was a full moon. It was wild. Um, so there is a moon. Pretty sure I saw one of those cryptids. When we were driving out, like a skinwalker type thing. Ooh. What? what? Me and Austin, we were we were driving out and uh, we were like looking out the side and I was like, oh my God, look at that guy. And then Austin was like, yeah, that's weird. And then we kept driving and it was just gone. Like nothing, like as we got closer to it, it was bizarre, man. Whoa. Weird. Like it was like a figure that I saw moving. And you guys like were eating the whole time, right? You weren't like hallucinating. Yeah, hallucinating, <laughs> any malnutrition, nothing like that. No, yeah, we were eating. Did, oh, you, good, did okay. you play music when you were walking? No. Okay. Well, and I don't say like you need music, but I don't know. Something to Is your, do, do you bring like portable chargers like for your phone? Or are you just like your phone's not even it. on? <laughs> just. <laughs> <It's> uh, <laughs> I brought it, but I never used it. There was no need. You had no service. So like there was no yeah. point, right? Just use it for like taking pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Did you go on like the top of a cliff and just scream at the top of your lungs? <laughs> any any like cliche no. moments that you had out there? Any like you you, you grab your coffee, you're just like, and you oh just yeah, look at the mountains, cross your legs. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Prize Picks. You guys don't know what Prize Picks is. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. They're the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, you pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. And dude, Prize Picks is so fun. You're winning up to 25 times more money this football season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. And we're going to be testing our skills on Prize Picks this football season in the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. And guys, like Prize Picks is really simple to play. I just make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. And you're going to get quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, an enormous selection of players and stats. That types and that's what makes prize picks the number one daily fantasy sports app oof and this week is a toughie i'm really confident with my picks i don't know about you but my picks are aaron Rodgers for more than three passing touchdowns and my baby travis kelsey for more than 50 yards and i got obj for more than 50 yards and josh allen for more than two passing touchdowns obj the one that i was sitting next mm -hmm. to on that flight on my way back from my it's yep, a sign remember, baby it's a sign and price picks offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like taco tuesday each Tuesday, Prize Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. And Prize Picks now offers Apple Pay for quick and easy deposits Ooh, into easy. your account this football season. So be part of Daily Fantasy Sports this season and go to prizepicks.com slash unfiltered and use our code unfiltered for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, all you got to do is go to prizepicks.com slash unfiltered and use code unfiltered for a first deposit match of up to $100. Thank you, Prize Picks, for sponsoring today's episode and being our daily fantasy sports made easy baby you know there's a family of 12 who are doing i think maybe the appalachian trail or the pct they're a family of 12 how like, old are the kids like four like five year four or five no. year old oh, that's all just... the way up like a whole cheaper by the dozen thing and oh everyone gosh. on the internet is like this is cruel you <laughs> cannot be taking these kids Wait, on this what? trail yeah but they're like no it's going to teach our kids discipline this is how we do it in our family discipline there's, there's a way you can take them to take them camping and it, it be like 
It's like, that's like those same people that are making their kids pack their own lunch at three and four years old. Well, yeah, talk about like that trying family to teach. on YouTube. It's oh, like the same Ruby bucket. Frank? Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, whoever that was. I can't believe she's arrested by yeah. the way. Yeah. I can't, it's because I've been can. following that stuff since like the beginning. Wait, you have? Well, not like her YouTube days, but like I was always on like cringe Ruby TikTok where like yeah, it would too. be videos of her and like her weird ways of disciplining with her kids. And Same I, all, oh, I always just got a kick out of this woman. I just love like more she's than in family now? vloggers. In, uh, yeah. Yeah, fully busted. Well, like the daughter, like, um, I don't know. Ba did, we, yeah. did we the talk kid, about this yeah. already? Okay. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We oh, no, a little. I just, I didn't know that you were so, like, you, you were paying attention I just to can't. That. It's, it's, I was like, someone needs to stop this lady. She needs to be stopped. <laughs> and yeah. sure enough, she's getting it stopped. It is wild. And, like, a lot, these people are just out there. Yeah. They're out there making videos and, like, Still, like nothing happens to them, but mm. finally it happened. Yeah, she reminded me of the, the Turpin family. But if my family was like, we're all doing the trail, I'd be like, I'm not doing it. But yeah. that's a lot to make a child walk, unless you're carrying them. Yeah. Because if it's like, if it was miserable for you, you got like, you were getting sick, it's cold. Like, it was brutal. Kids are, it's gonna be worse. Especially like when you're like climbing elevation yeah. and it's steep. It's no joke. Did you guys ever like separate kind of, or like someone's two minutes up? Like, or were you guys always in visual distance of one another? Always in visual distance. Okay. Um, everybody pretty much stays together. Um, you know, if somebody is hurting a little bit more, they kind of like slow down and then we would all stop together. Yeah. Let people catch up did, go ahead. Did any of you guys have to like, get to the point where you had to drink like each other's pee or anything like that? Like any survival? We just did that for fun. Oh, okay. It wasn't for survival. Oh, good. Did everybody drink Jordan's? Just try each other. Where yeah. do you get okay. water? You find water sources out there. So like wells or streams? Well, don't you, well, you have a thing, right? You put water in it and then it like filters yeah, it so out. Yeah, we'll, so we got water from the lake, uh, from the river, just little streams crossing. Do you test it before? No. Oh, you just trust like, but what I'll if like a bear it. just took a shit down it and it's like- They have a filter. Uh, you, uh, yeah, called? it's, um, we, I use a catadine. You scoop it into like a bottle, put the little part and on then and it, then you squeeze it through that and it oh, filters it. Good to go. Honestly, like I would want to drink river water from it a was, place like that. It just yeah. seems so cold it's, and fresh. Yeah, Amazing. It's like ice, ice cold. cold. And when it's- uh, You what, have it? I have some still if you want to try it. Mm. Maybe, maybe like, not really. anymore. <laughs> There's like sea monkeys up in it. You're like, <laughs> just a lot of moving ecosystems. organisms. <laughs> oh, that'll clean you out. <laughs> it's like, I just found out that kombucha has, what do they call it? Lightning worms. Uh, Why? Wait, what? Oh yes, there are. Yeah. I think that's what they're called. Look it up. Apparently every single one of them has like lightning worms and nobody ever talked about it. And now people are talking about it and I refuse to drink kombucha. What the hell but they're is like kind of, it's, uh, no. Put, no. Put, uh, You're telling me if I grab kombucha from the store right now and I pour it, it's gonna be yeah, a well, lightning worm Type in it. kombucha worms. But I don't know like if you're gonna get it's a heavy I think it happens sometimes to people who are like making their own camp kombucha or vinegar eels. Vinegar that's what it is. Eels. That's yes. what it is. What? Uh, but they're harmless. They're harmless though. I don't care. It's still crazy that there's like a living thing in there. Yeah, Weird. Shouldn't that be a disclaimer? It, it probably uh, says it in the ingredients. I, I mean, I don't mind kom kombucha. Wait, look at that, look at that, look at that. And they, they all move around and shit. Oh yeah, wait. So is it like is it is it dead? It, that like they chop it up and put it in there, or is it like no, alive, alive in there? It's alive in the kombucha before you drink it. Yeah, it's like part of the vinegar. I mean, yeah. But if it's harmless, it's harmless. But, yeah, the, but the thing is, kombucha. That whole like mother thing. When I see mm, people make kombucha, I'm like, absolutely <laughs> not doing that in my kitchen. Just being like, oh yeah, let's uh, just let. Let's say it's just ferment. It's the same Ugh. with apple cider vinegar. You know how it has like the mother at the bottom or whatever, and you're supposed to like shake it up. Ugh, the I'm fact out. that they're calling it the mother is really weird. Oh, and the sm God, the smell is already just, it makes me want to die. Mm. The smell of apple cider Fermenting vinegar. Fermenting things at home is just like, what are we in jail? Yeah. Like are we making hooch? What are we boofing? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, like look at that, the mother. Oh, and this is oh, this is gonna taste great in a couple days. <laughs> All respect to people who, if you make kombucha, do your thing, no live respect. your life. But no, that shit, no, no way. No uh -uh. Yeah. Hey, come over. I just brewed some uh, some just booch. Some booch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. all right. I'm all right. Uh, I don't like that. The nickname some booch. booch. No, nope. Uh, but the water out there was incredible. Like it just tasted so fresh. Yeah. Um, tasted a little metallic, but. I'm sure that's what water it's coming is coming from the elements. To be like yeah. when it's not, you know, filtered from all that Needs stuff. Needs coffee every morning. <laughs> <if> you're not. <laughs> but yeah, the trip was really, really nice. Uh, and then the last day, 
we were supposed to be there. Uh, a really bad storm was coming through and we got updates on our Garmin's. We saw it was supposed to be snowing the entire day on our last hike out. And none of us were like wanting to deal with that, like getting soaking wet, packing up stuff. Um, so we ended up hiking out the last day, which was like 14 or so miles just to get out ahead of time. Were you like, and then we were, cut it were you running early. back? No, we just started early and just kept going. Are you guys talking a lot while you're walking? Like, is there a lot, of, a lot good, of is silence. a good conversation? Not really. I feel like everybody's kind of enjoying themselves. That's nice. And their own like mental thoughts. I would go a little stir crazy. We're like, I feel but, like I would, I'm the type of person where if like, if I'm up in space, I'll start losing my mind knowing that I'm just like trapped on a space station or like, or like just knowing that time's passing. We're still walking. We're walking. And I'm like, a lot of, a lot I of times think I would like, go a little it's crazy. like, wow, look how pretty this is. And then we like stop and take a break and be like, I, 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 I never mind like being out at a place like that and not talking at all. Like when, even when I go to running, when I go on a hike, I love just yeah. being si like silent with, with it's, any it's of my really, friends going. Refreshing. It's just nice. For I, an it, hour. It's nice to hear. It's not, maybe that's just, maybe that's just my brain. No, that's good. <laughs> I, I just think everybody's different. I, I just it. feel like I yeah. would maybe I, go, but if I, if nobody wanted to talk to me and I needed to talk, that's where I'm like, <laughs> I think am I'm, I annoying you guys? I'm sorry, but did you guys ever read this thing? I you don't want to be that guy just like chatting it up out there. Though. I know. Like, All right. I. <laughs> and I'm saying that just doing it over the course of many days, many hours. I think yeah. the whole that's time where we were would... all just thinking about like, what if we're missing something and we don't have service and like something's going on that yeah. we don't know about? Yeah. Like that that was- Just coming up with a plan B the entire time. Just constantly in our brain like- That'd be a good plot for a movie. Or it's what? like someone's out on a hike, but something huge happens in and the you're world just like, and they don't know about it yet. Why do I- But then they come back to civilization and they're like, oh, well, I mean, that's like 28 days later, he was in the hospital and he wakes up and he's like, what the fuck happened to the world? Something mm. big did happen while you were on. Huh? <laughs> oh, y'all got your eyes. Something did big. Did, something big. Did, play, something did big. Play that in reverse. You'll know what I mean. Are <laughs> <laughs> you? Are you? Something, what happened? Something did happen while you were gone. The big saw premiere. Oh my god! Oh, the big yes. saw so premiere. Bummed I missed that. I know. Were oh, the actors there? What? No, no. So we um they they actually did the whole um they had like a, a screening and the after party at, with with the like the campaign with like what I did for Saw. If you guys didn't know, we uh, we did a Saw video for Lionsgate and um, I've been a huge fan of Saw like all my life and I got like an opportunity to work with them and we did a video um, for them. If you guys wanna check it out, I posted it on my, on my YouTube channel and I, also on my Instagram, but uh, we held like a screening to watch the newest Saw X movie. Um, have you seen it yet? No. Oh I really, my God. Is it good? It's the best. It's, it's I the think be, it's, it's the best it's, it's my favorite one so far. Me too. Nice. Genuinely yeah. my favorite one yeah. so far. Nice. I, I think it's a, I would say it's in my top two. And what's number one? I, I, I just really love Saw. The, the first, first one, one is just yeah, like, when there's a series so of a movie, I noticed that the first one's always the best. It mm -hmm. always goes downhill from Besides there. Besides Too Fast, Too Furious, that one is <laughs> the best. But, but this one, the 10th was on, it was perfect. Is it the 10th or is it like an iPhone? No, no, it's X a 10th. It's, 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 okay. it's a 10th. It's a 10th. This is the 10th movie. Damn, I've missed but out on the- But timeline wise, this is uh, happens after Saw. But Spiral counts as part of it, right? Like the Sp one with Sp Chris Rock that wasn't Spiral very good. Spiral does not count as a part of the lineage. The, no. So there's Saw 9, Saw 8, wait, Saw wait, 7. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, I Saw, Saw 7 is Saw 3D. Saw eight. Can you look it up, There's Jordan? Saw four. That is a Saw four. Saw nine Saw. is Jigsaw. Oh, Jigsaw. I don't even. Oh, oh you we know saw what? that together. Yeah. Spiral is before Jigsaw. So yeah, no, Spiral is a part of it. It's okay. part of the. It's part of the. Saw it's movies. part of the count. Yeah. Okay. It's part of it. Yeah. Oh, it looks. It um, stands out like a sore thumb. Yeah. Really are any of the up. challenges like? I could do that. No. No. Okay. <laughs> are they no. all? Because some no. are just unfortunate. Oh my like, no! I I I want you. This is one of those movies where I want to watch people's reactions. When so they, good. Woo, there was just a few where it, it just looks way too good and way too real. Like they just did such a good job. Whoa. With so well like, done. So well done. The storyline's really good. Especially being a modern day movie. I feel like modern day movies are like, they're trying corny. to be too like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like with the times and hip and like, like, just doesn't work. It doesn't read. The thing is this, that they, they couldn't because it was based in right. Yeah. So this felt like like, like this is what one. Saw is about. Yeah, that's what it was. Like this is what Saw is all about. Like oh, 
just love him. Yeah, and it was definitely it's, so di it's definitely different than the rest of the movies. This is not just like oh, just a bunch of traps and someone's. This there's like what there was a storyline to Ooh. it, and it was beautiful. And it was like it was done really well, and um, and you felt like. Oh, I don't know. So many emotions. Yeah, and it was good. And I love like the route that they went with the setting yes. and what they did. Yes, it's fun. It's I don't want to. Really... I don't want to give too much away. Where but is it was just a fun set? watch. Where is it set? Canada, Mexico. <laughs> like, oh, it's wait. All the well, movies this, are no, set. No, 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 no. Just just this one. Okay, but the first one's like what? Like Phil Boston, Philadelphia. Maybe. Uh, no, I, no I'm not idea. sure. I forget. I forget. Yeah. But um, I want to talk about the the screening the night of the screening because yeah. Heath missed it. I missed you it. You missed it. It was downtown. It was a Regal LA Cinema downtown. We all we all got there. We weren't sure what to expect. This is my first time like hosting any sort of thing like this, and we get there, and there was just like a, a lot of people there already. We're all very excited. We met up with like everybody at Lionsgate, and then we um we we go upstairs. I meet the two Saw X producers, Oren Cools and Mark Berg. They're great guys. Mm -hmm. I got to meet them. That was so awesome. They've worked on not all the Saw movies, but, a, but a quite a few of the Saw movies. Yeah. My contact at Lionsgate told me that, oh, we want you to do like an introduction. I'm like, oh my to God. Speak. Like, a, like, yeah, like a little Ooh. intro. <laughs> and I'll, and I, I was looking at everybody. I was like, guys, they want me to do a speech. Like this fucking sucks. I was like, and I was so nervous about that the whole time. Yeah. I, I, I was nervous, but I was at the same time because in my heart, this was something I was so passionate about to me. It's easier yeah. to uh to speak on it if like I, I really genuine. love it. Yeah. It's genuine, yeah. And um so everybody uh they rented out like two theaters. One was for like everybody at Lionsgate and all their influencers they invited, and then one was for all like my friends that yeah. I invited. I got there, I said a little speech. Um did you go you, you guys want to play a game? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm Zane, by the way, guys. <laughs> For those of you who don't no, know, no, no, Zane. Mariah told me I uh, was, Mariah told me to do something. What was it? The uh, yeah, the it was something. You said you told me to say something with uh, that, but yeah. um, but so I introed I introed the producers to come and like speak, and they didn't even really speak anything about the movie. They just immediately went to like the video that we made. Um, I put and I posted it on the story. I don't know if you saw it or not. Did you see it? No, no, no. Sorry, I did it. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see the. Oh wait, I did see the sketch. The yeah, but I didn't see that. No, the they story. Showed, they showed it. No, I. Missed okay. It. Okay. So they played. They played. Uh, they played our video before the. Screening. Did you know they were going to do that? Yeah, I did know, but like, I just, I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like. That you know, was me. I thought it was going to be normal until like. It was happening, and me and Mariah, we were just the, so and we were the just like, the screen is ah! so damn big. It's so big. Yeah. It's, was just, it weird seeing yourself on a movie screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was really uncomfortable. That's cool. yeah. But it was like after it happened, then it was cool. Um, but what made that cool was what happened right after. So after they played this, uh, after they played our video, I got back up and I introed the the Saw X producers. They came out and they were talking about how much they loved the video they like was couldn't that their believe first they time kept going it. It, and you're still standing you're still standing up there with no, them no, I'm, oh, okay no i st i stood out of my seat i entered them and then i sat back down okay. and then they <laughs> Just, were standing there and they were talking about how like they couldn't believe how well that came out they they were they like were, zane we don't we don't do things like this so we trusted you and i we could not be happier with the result and he goes this isn't the end of zane and saw <gasps> So they were and like, if we have an 11th, and it was like, dot, dot, dot. No, 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 they were, they were like, I think it's time to kill you in a Saw movie. They said it in front of everybody. You mean that? Yeah, right, that's, like, that's what yeah, like, I'm sitting there, I'm like, <laughs> you mean that? I look at my I'm like, oh, I hope it's not an empty promise. Uh, no, they seemed so <laughs> but nice, they, did, they, they, they were very excited. It was definitely like a win for both parties. Like yeah. both, Zane was just as excited as them. So it was like. Yeah, yeah. it was it, it was so, so cool. fun. And I, I still, I don't remember exactly what they said. I'll have to watch it again, but it was so cool that I like got any acknowledgement from yeah. the producers yeah. I saw, and the fact that they even are even gonna think about me in the future for like their next is like pretty <laughs> cool. And the movie didn't come out yet, right? It just came out that night, so they're like, if this is successful and we can do another one. It's doing the best out of all the Saw movies so far. It's wow. gotten the highest Rotten Tomatoes ratings, and there, there's wow. been over 500 reviews. and. I feel like at this point we'd start seeing real numbers, and it's still up there at ninety-one percent audience score and eighty-two percent Rotten Tomatoes. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. So, so well done. There wasn't one part where I was like, Ugh. <laughs> "It was so good." And they did so, so like when I saw that, as and I got really excited when I saw that rating, but like selfishly, I was like, "Yes,", yes thank because God. If, if this it is helps. the best one so far. So right. uh, obviously they're going to get that approval yeah. to make another one, and. 
We look at the reviews. They're all like, I thought Zane, Heath, and Mariah were <laughs> yeah. supposed to be in this. <laughs> it's still a totally different director than the original ones, right? They, I think they produced a two of the Saw movies and Spiral. Well, okay. Wow, like, budget oh, was only 13 million. Nice. I mean, it's just probably just sets and makeup. It's in that small seems, spaces and the cast, you're not dealing with like- That seems low compared to, I feel like he, everything well, else that's he, coming he, out. You have to also think about like where, oh shit, you didn't watch it. Yeah, don't-, don't it, makes, I, I, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Damn, I'm excited. But they're gonna get the biggest profit though with that low of a spending for the, for, for the movie, which yeah, is pretty cool. I'm excited for them. So yeah, but it's all done, wrapped it up. It was great. Def definitely the coolest thing I have ever done in my whole career. It came out so good. Yeah. And I'll do it again. I'll do it again for you guys. <laughs> Just hit me up. <laughs> they Let me you, know. They put you in like Saw 11, but it's like <laughs> influencers across the world are taking part of the Saw challenge. And you're like on like a screen. Like it's so like. Uh, horrible. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> but no, there is no. This is why this is why I feel like there's a big chance, right? In um, this movie, they told me that they actually put a super fan in this movie mm -hmm. that made a lot of uh, oh, TikTok right. content for the Saw movie. So it's possible. It's, yeah. it's definitely, there's definitely a possibility. And she was like, she played like a barista. Yeah, she played so a she barista. Like it was a quick scene. And yeah. that was it, but she was in it. Wow. She was a super fan. Yeah. So that's really cool. That so um, but yeah, if that conversation comes up, I will be taking acting classes for at least six months before my debut. My man. I have to, right? I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's like a 10 second scene, I will be going to class for six months. <laughs> six months. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> but I still just cannot get it, cannot get it right. The after party was great. Oh yeah. And then there was an after party. They had all of our trap, all the traps that we used for the video cool. and oh. traps from the movie, just all like around. That was really sick. Um, and it was like at a big warehouse. They, it, it was done really well. Um, we got to, Talk to the producers uh, for a little bit that night. That was really cool. Did you get to control <clears throat> Billy the doll? I control Billy. Oh. Cool. Just, you know, just scaring the scaring the. Uh, oh, that's the name of the doll is Billy. Billy. Do but they do they, they never acknowledge it? I think they just like that's call, just, it Billy. call it Billy. Like Bob. <laughs> yeah. I don't know Bob. What else did I miss while I was gone? This is when it comes to like saw stuff. I think that was the only thing yeah you missed. And did you hear about the what? my two car incidents? Yeah. Did I hear about what? The wedding that happened in Iraq. Oh my God. The what? I, oh, it's so sad. It's like not even like fun to bring yeah. up. <clears throat> no, it's-, it's What terrible. happened? It's- a, we a wedding venue caught on fire and killed a bunch of people. A hundred people. No a hundred people way. at a wedding. Imagine having a wedding and a hundred people at your wedding. All your family and friends. Yeah, they basically had some pyrotechnics and it caught the ceiling on fire and then like the building no. collapsed and they have it like on video too. Like it's like horrific. A like it was like- it's the it's like the best film video you can get for like such it a because like they're horrific. Scene. Yeah, there's because they're filming a wedding. They're yeah. it's like all this slow mo shot or whatever, and then the couple like looks up, and then people start running out of it. It's so sad. It's a it's a wild video. What caught fi like something? The ceiling did, and also the building wasn't up to the code, and that's where like a lot of people are getting mad at like the Iraqi government. Like, how are we allowing these buildings that like? to host events and yeah. uh, that. Oh, uh, and, and, and it's sad because it looked like such a beautiful wedding and there's so many people there and it looked very expensive. And they interviewed like the couple after like on like their national TV and the wife is just like. So the husband yeah. and the wife survived? Yeah. yeah. But they, the, there was a hundred guests? A hundred guests. No, a hundred, 150 people were injured. A hundred people died. And then who knows how many other people like so are fine. So 250 people, well, including We're the ones that passed and got hurt. Yeah. yeah. Imagine that being your, That's your anniversary wedding. every year and just oh my. having to think about That's, it. It was devastating. Gosh. That was like the beginning of it. Yeah. And everybody just starts you did know, like the, the exits like get blocked and people couldn't get out I, the, the building collapsed was, faster it, than you think uh, because like they it said was, it happened really fast look yeah at that huge chandelier like, look how fast the fire like fires are spreading right wow oh terrible oh my gosh that happened and i know we talked about it before we were filming i just we saw that like what a good crazy just that's so sad situation so Lil Tay is not dead? Le well, I mean, no. I mean, it's been known that she's not dead. It came, yeah, it, it came, something came out like a few days after that whole post came. But after they confirmed that she wasn't dead, we didn't like hear at all from her for like, what, two, three, four weeks, right? I feel and like then, that thing has been a while since that. Yeah, but spread. then out of nowhere, right? Out of nowhere, releases like her music video. 
right? She just dropped a music. Wait, video. you have to see it. Like, it doesn't even look like Lil Tay. It just it looks like somebody she's that's like a full on teenager now. I think it like, looks exactly like. Oh, really? Her. It, to yeah. me, it looked like someone that looked like her. So it's called Sucker for Green. Oh boy, that looks like Sims. Is, that, is this is real? This David's house. Right, so just play the music. We obviously can't like put this in, but I just want Heath to see it. So everybody. So, so like, I was going through the comments because because I'm like. There's no way we're the only ones that was like, what is going on? Everybody is just like, damn, she really fooled us all. Or like, it's just confusing how like that happened. And then all of a sudden music video, like when did she film this music video? Yeah. Oh, probably a while back. This was yeah. all PR stunt then yeah, from the, the get go, yeah. from the get go. Blame it on the brother that they posted. Yeah. This well, was all for us did, to talk. I think she that's went live and she posted a bunch of videos exposing her dad and saying there was like, Domestic violence. You know about all that? No. She went, oh. go look at her live video. She went live for like 30 she minutes. She showed a or picture something. of her dad. She said everything he did to her, and she exposes like her whole family. Oh, okay. That's what I saw the music video, but then I saw all, she's in like a pink outfit. I'll, so, P, not PR son. You're saying it's just coincident? Like, this. she. Do you play her audio? How does she talk now? Does she talk a little bit more? She put sounds together? exactly the same. Oh, really? Well, she, she doesn't really have like the. This is a police report. They were physically abusing me constantly. And like I said, if her son acted out of line, she would use me as a household that her son caught onto it and he he was doing it to me too. And they would just egg him on. I feel so bad for her. They Did that say forced, forced me to watch me horror to movies? Watch <laughs> many horror movies. <laughs> How no, wait, 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 wait till she shows the dad. Bride of Chucky. And I was, when they put it on, I couldn't get out of the room. Maybe fast forward. And I was, they are sick ass people. This is not the only horror movie that I watched, but this is one of the most. Dude, this is like pre recorded to you. Like she's not I really. You can't, you can't post a lot. You can't post a lot. It was a live, so it was a screen recording. My mom of a live. had discovered that they were packing me this bullshit for lunch. Rotten, frozen, parasitic, moldy. Look at this. Who? That's candy. That's expired candy. These she are my came with evidence. Him. Said, These are shoes I was wearing. The soles are broken. This is another. These aren't even the same pair of shoes. Look. Both of these soles are broken. These are the clothing they were providing for me. How old is she? 16. 16. No, not that comment. Start at OnlyFans. <laughs> Bro, people are crazy. The mystery continues. That's crazy. It's wild. So much mystery. Like, I still am confused about it's just, her whole yeah. situation. It's just really sad. So, so young, too. Yeah. To have to, like, grow up that fast. That's too much. Yeah. yeah. Talk about the emergency thing happening tomorrow. I know, but then I feel like it's got. Oh, there's apparently there's going to be this nationwide like emergency thing like tomorrow a, around like emergency. 11 a.m. Like everyone's phones are going to go off really loud, like really, really loud, and not only like phones, like TVs, For everything. What? You know how like everyone gets Amber Alerts? It's yeah. going to be the whole world getting a huge alert One that's super alert. loud at the same time. Everyone though is like all those people in jail who have their phones are gonna right. go off and get busted. Yeah. This is happening tomorrow for sure. That's what they're saying. Like they came out and like confirmed that it's gonna happen. What are they gonna do in movie theaters? Like the movies that are gonna I be was, showing are they Oh no, it's at 11 a.m. Like, Who's watching a movie at 11 a.m.? Imagine everyone's on an airplane just like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really scary. For people that don't I bet know. They will tell, I bet they will tell the people on the plane. Yeah, that, that would happen. freak me out on a plane. If they have an oh. imagine what with time, no warning. What time exactly is it happening? I know they put central time, but how does that work? I hope it's like a pleasant sound or if it's like, eh. Yeah, or like I'm sure it's gonna be a very obnoxious like emergency. Yeah, 2.20 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time. So 11.20 here. Yeah. It's just like a bam, 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 bam. 11.20 <laughs> tomorrow morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, geez. Well, if an asteroid's coming, I just hope it hits us so we can just. I actually think I did see something that an asteroid is supposed to be coming. I Ooh, saw that's that too. When? Starting season five with a big bang. Woo! Uh, take the set out. If an, Okay, guys, look, hear me out. If an asteroid is coming to Earth, we got about 12 hours before we perish. We're doing a live. Okay. Yeah, giant asteroid. We're coming the size and doing of a, live. a thousand capybaras. <laughs> Why okay. would they measure it like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the size of an airplane, basically. Most, yeah, it's a way easier description that you could put. Oh, it's to pass Earth on Tuesday. It's not coming. 
unless it gets caught in orbit. But then like the I still think it's crazy that asteroid hasn't hit Earth yet. But then also think of the odds of it. <laughs> it Space is pretty damn big. No, like a big one. <laughs> The dinosaur. Yeah, the dinosaur, but that was the last one. How the fuck has not another giant rock hit this planet? Mm. Hear me out. It's true. You know what, though? If that's how we go, that's how we go. Honestly, all together. It's See, I'd rather no die, yeah. like, just, oh, there it goes. Done. I don't know why I feel like this would work. I would just, like, go underwater in the pool. And <laughs> oh, that's too easy. That's too easy. Just as it's coming, just. Yeah. Let yeah. go and let God. Yeah, it's, I am a little conflicted. Do I want to be completely unconscious for the end of the world <laughs> or be conscious for it? I don't know why. Ever since I was a kid, I've had this crazy gut feeling. Like everything inside me tells me that I'm, I'm going to live to see the rapture. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I genuinely feel like I am. I, do, I don't know why. Like, That's good. Wait, like God will come and like save the souls of the people that he wants, like left behind kind Just of thing. Just like rapture? The end, end of the world rapture. Yeah, the yeah. end of time. End of the I get, I, I'm like 50 50 on that. Like, in my head is like, I feel like we're coming to the end of just like the seven technology. years trials and tribulations. Like, I, yeah. I feel like, have you ever seen that show, The Leftovers on HBO? I saw no. only the first episode. I need it's to- a crazy premise where 10% of the population one day disappears. People disappeared out of thin air, and the, and the world is still going about it a couple of years later, trying to like continue things. But then a lot of people are like, what the fuck happened with those 10% people that disappeared? Did you guys all forget about that? And a lot of people thought, oh, it was the rapture. These, God came to save these souls. But they're like, no, some of the people that disappeared were criminals, murderers, rapists, all of it. So they're, the world is, so they're there's, all these, cult, there's all these cults happening. Yeah. There's people who are trying to figure out where these people went. People are going about their lives. And it's, I think it's the most accurate depiction of how the world would be if 10% of the population just disappeared. Just disappeared. Uh, uh, our, our world would go mayhem if that happened. Yeah. Like just not having any answers. Also, like if just like one of our friends. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, I feel like every, everybody would just know one person that disappeared. There's a yeah. there's a woman in the movie and she lost every single family member, like her like two kids and like her husband or whatever. And mm. like, but some people like didn't lose anybody. Some people knew of someone who lost somebody. It's a crazy, like interesting, deep show. <laughs> Right, I just imagine. <laughs> I imagine like asteroid hits Earth, we all die, right? And then we, we, you know, we wake up in the afterlife. <laughs> just the amount of people waiting, right? And God is just like the line. Uh, yeah, we uh, got all right, people, people, back easy. Up. All right, y'all, yeah, it's gonna be a long time till you see this guy on the side of this gate. Single Make a line, single line, and you have people that been dead There's for years. There's people still cooking like street dogs and stuff, <laughs> like waiting in line. The they selling the, shirts. They've like, been in the afterlife for years. They know <laughs> the ins and outs of the afterlife. They're just like, oh y'all, this is it. Yeah, this is it. Oh just man! Everyone just taking advantage of all the like, just all the people coming in. I can see that happening. Right. I think the afterlife is gonna be just like this, but it's just gonna suck that like we're not gonna know. You know, every there's so many people in the afterlife that like have been there for a long time, uh -huh. and we have to try to catch up. Yeah. Like, what did I miss? <laughs> Have you ever seen that movie, Children of Men? Wait, is that the one with uh, oh, that one actor, not Gerard Butler, but that I was guy. thinking about the actress. Oh, oh, Julianne Moore. Yes, okay, that's the one. Okay, dude, that movie that's so good. set like in a weird distant future, but humankind is like stopped being able to have babies. Like the youngest person on Earth is like a sixteen-year-old boy, mm. and like in the beginning he dies, and the whole world is just losing hope. Everybody's depressed, but people are still trying to continue about you know having jobs trying to have meaning but everyone's like is this the end of times and it's a oh you see that to me seems much more realistic like, like infertility people, infertility like people are not gonna be able to have babies anymore that seems like more realistic to oh, me that would spook. how like that would just kind of end us yeah oh that's such a good film huh I well know. i had a good time did me you guys too. yes that was a fun episode thank you for coming to my show today thank you We'll jump Let's into the other one. Hang yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, also make sure to check out the best coffee in the world, Cremota at <laughs> Cremota.com. We've got bags. We've got K-Cups, a bunch of different flavors. we got drinkware. we got it all at Cremota.com. You can check out our Patreon page, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath, where we have bonus episodes. we got high drunk episodes. We actually just did one with uh, where we all got crossfaded. We got one drunk, one high, and one on Kava. I'm not going to tell you who did who because you're just going to have to go there and see for yourself. All for $5 a month. You also 
get a private Discord. You get live Q and A's every month. You also get early access, early maybe. access, yep. ad free, and um, and Unwinds. just a, what unwinds oh and unwinds where we keep the cameras rolling for like 15 to 30 minutes every episode and we just keep the podcast going patreon.com slash zane and heath all right guys we love you and we'll see you next week Bye. peace and blessings y'all xoxo gossip boys toodle toodle